You know, we had a good run, guys. We really did have a good run. We had, um, you know, the resurgence of magic after the uh, great, great book, Discovery of Witchcraft. Then Robert Houdin kind of brought magic into the modern era. We had Harry Houdini capitalized on all that, um, all that need for the necessity of magic in society then. Then you had, of course, people like Doug Henning, David Copperfield, <sighs> David Blaine. Even Chris Angel, fuck it, you know? I'll throw Chris a bone. Because now, now those are the uh, magicians of yesteryear. Those are the magicians of yesteryear. Now we have, we have hilarious pictures. This is where magic is in the 21st century. We have hilarious pictures. Who's hilarious pictures, you may ask? Um, I don't know. I don't know who hilarious pictures is. I'm sure uh, you don't know who hilarious pictures is, but... uh. 21 million people that have seen this video in particular know who Hilarious Pictures are. And I, I know, I know, there's a saying that says you don't want to punch down on people. But um, in this case, I'm, I'm, I'm not punching down. I'm punching, I'm punching way up, uh, way up there. You can see there's 21, 21 million views. So I'm, I'm punching way up into your... Uh, Way up into your butthole there. I need you to put them way up inside your butthole, Morty. So today I thought I'd take a look at this video and see what it is that made this video so popular and get all the, uh, all the comments and all the adulation and all the love uh, that it's gotten with the uh, also included 235,000 upvotes. So, um, so let's just get into it, guys. Let's just get into it. Now, I know it's very easy to make fun of the uh, obvious misappropriation of the English language here, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. See, I'm going to be a little bit more of a, of a video snob here because if you see from the first five seconds of the video, you immediately could tell that the, the quality of video is not up to par. And I know, I know you could say that some people don't have access to you know, certain phones and certain camera equipment, but this is the year 2014. Uh, that's when the iPhone 6 came out. You had uh, the Galaxy S6, which is a phenomenal phone. Galaxy S7 was about to come out. This, as a matter of fact, is a Galaxy S7. And you see it's, uh, it's providing um, of, of quality, uh, you know, frame rates. There's a decent quality in the camera. There isn't film grain. Um, so, you know, the effort in recording this obviously wasn't, uh, wasn't a priority. But you'll see now that that's only one of many issues um, throughout this video. Also, you should learn how to fucking write the word revealed. If you're gonna at least expose and show uh, certain tricks, you should at least know how to write the one word that is gonna garner the uh, search engine optimization of the SEOs, as they're called. Because if you write that word, wh what are you gonna get? You're not gonna get clicks. Uh, maybe by people who might misspell the word, but go God damn it, dude, fuck. God. Oh boy, all right, let's just keep watching. Let's keep watching. This, uh, it's a magic trick? Is that a trick? Is that really a trick? Tie the shoes. It's tying your shoes. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing something. I don't know if I should be seeing something that I'm not, but he's, uh, he's tying a shoe here, guys. Uh, please let me know in the comments below if there's something else that I'm missing here. But uh, it seems to me like he's just uh, literally uh, getting a shoe and then tying a shoelace. Um, again, leave in the comments below if uh, if I'm missing anything here. If old pig cake is just not old to understand uh, what this trick is, you know, just let me know in the comments. While you're in the comments there, you should also tell me what, uh, what that is, what that is. Uh, you know, it's, it's very common knowledge that the first five to 10 seconds of every YouTube video kind of determines whether or not the person chooses to continue watching the video. And in the first 10 seconds here, I've seen a, a man tie his shoelace. I've seen uh, what, what seems to be um, a magic trick filmed with a pack of cigarettes. 
Uh, I see. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Uh, so if you could leave in the comments as well what that object is that he's apparently making float uh, between his palms, that'd be phenomenal. So um, yeah, this is uh, already setting the trend for the rest of the video here, which uh, if I could remind you, has 21 fucking million views. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, it's just leave below what, what that is that he's making a float precariously between his hands. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue on. Yeah, I'm gonna place the quarter on my palm and I'm gonna tap it three times and it will go through. Now watch. Tap it once, twice, and three. Right here, it went through. Again, it's very hard not for me to be a, a complete and total dickhead about the uh, the quality here, but um, I'm gonna be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be a little bit of a dick here. See the uh, the frame rate of this shot because it's filmed with his grandmother's rotary phone. Uh, it seems to be between 10 and 15 frames a second, and uh, here you see that he does a, a slow motion where he decides to cut that that frame rate in half. And uh, continue on with the slow motion here. And you see what that produces is a very choppy, glitchy, uh, slow motion per se. See, but you have to shoot at a higher frame rate. And again, it's 2014. You have the iPhone 6 that's capable of shooting 30 to 60 frames a second at, you know, HD. Um, of course, I, I feel like he's shooting with a phone here, but he's using the front cam um, to record himself just to see that the shot is angled correctly but uh you know it kind of defeats the point when that diminishes the quality of the video significantly um that's that's it that's my that's the last rant on uh on quality here you want to know how this is done well let's get to it anyone else feel like he wants to fight you based on that does that did anyone else i i got the feeling that he really wanted to like uh, kick me or, or do some uh some karate move i know i know cheap it's a cheap hit he's asian Naturally, he might know karate, but but you'll see later on in the video that he's self-aware. He's self-aware. Um, we'll get to that boat when we get to it. Oh boy! Twice, and three. Right here, you want to practice this magic trick many times as you can, so you will get more natural to it. You know, it's great when a magician. Um, of his skill level offers advice like practicing a lot to try to better the way you do your magic and it's great you know this this guy obviously he he didn't just totally learn these tricks 15 minutes before shooting the video on his grandmother's defibrillator he didn't just learn these tricks uh these are classics of magic that he's been practicing for uh what seems to be what uh 18 18 to 24 years of age um so he's been practicing for a long time it's it's very evident, but it always feels good when a magician of his statute and with his drawing ability uh, in YouTube gives advice like that. It makes you, you know, it makes you motivate. It motivates you. It motivates you to want to be a better magician and do your best. Um, and I wonder what classic he's going to teach us next. Uh, let's see what classic of magic he's going to teach us next. This is called Tear and Restore. The Tear and Restore trick. You know, ah, I, I got to tell you, I've never... Never seen that. There's something about that that makes me uh, apprehensive as to whether I actually ever learned this trick myself. TBH here, guys. Uh, I don't think I've seen that trick. You know, I've only been doing magic for 15 to 16 years now. This guy has uh, 21 million views, so he knows what he's talking about. The tear and restore. Uh, sorry, rest restore. Restore uh, trick here. I've never seen that one. Tear and restore. Maybe... Um, Maybe I might learn something watching this. So let's uh, let's see if I learned uh, a new classic of magic watching this uh, tear and restore uh, trick. Let's let's check it out. Now watch. Tear this. Tear it again. And then tear it even more. And even more. And last time, we can roll this out. You know, honestly, watching that, that's a completely natural movement of the hands. I don't know if you guys are aware of sleight of hand mastery. You know, we have such great magicians using uh, such technical ability. Like, we have uh, people like Jeff McBride that, you know, produce cards fantastically. We have people in the modern era like Shin Lim who are able to do a lot of things with a pack of cards that 
people can only dream of. But, you know, I don't think anything compares to the uh, the movement that he just displayed uh, with the grace of an antelope um, for that. And I don't, again, I don't want to expose methods here, but, you know, I, I don't really have to. I don't really have to with that. I had 21 million views. Why? Get some of that magic and rice. Rice, rice. Okay. And I save those rice for lunch. Yeah. You know, a lot of people typically have issues with, uh, you know, pointing out stereotypes and race. And, you know, it's very easy in this particular scenario to uh, really bash the fact that he just took out rice from his pocket, uh, poured it over a supposedly torn napkin uh, and attempts to use that as some sort of magical conduit to fix the rest of the napkin. Uh, so it's really easy for me to poke fun at that. Um, but honestly, I think he does the job better than I possibly could. Uh, I think that he does more, uh, better of a job poking at stereotypes than I, I could have possibly ever have. I also like that he decided that that was such a good gag that he thought he would have to put the text on the bottom of the screen um, just so people that aren't listening uh, to the actual audio in the video also are aware of the funny gag and uh, save those rice for lunch. Um, even that was uh, grammatically incorrect. Watch closely on this suit that I bought 50% off on Black Friday. All right, 50% off, still good. You know, let this be a lesson to you guys that have a hard time figuring out what to say during tricks. Uh, you know, you want to have a clear, established, coherent, patter point when it comes to your videos and when it comes to uh, actual performance of tricks you know here he's saying that he bought these shoes 50 percent off black friday um i don't think that's the case i don't think that's the case i i think he um made those shoes i'm sorry i'm sorry it's easy it's easy uh it's easy watching this video god god damn it I'm not racist I'm not racist. I'm not racist. But don't you think that he's uh, closer to a Nike factory than we are? I'm, I, you know, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just calling it out as, uh, as I see it here. Um, slowly healing it now. See? Slowly back to the Oh, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good. Mmm. Yeah, it's good as new. Okay, so here he's doing the uh, the classic, you know, crushed and healed soda can, which is, uh, you know, one of the great tricks. David Blaine on Magic Man, that's special. He grabs a can, Central Park, shakes it up a little bit. The can heals itself, and then the top, he heals the, uh, heals the hole. So the can is now sealed and factory fresh. You know, it's, it's a great trick. It's a classic. Anders Moden wrote it up. All the way back, I think 1997, 1998. You know, the reason I say that is because, uh, is because uh, here in the video, he says that he does not own these magic tricks. He'll post the original author of these magic tricks soon. What a, what a great guy here. That's, that's great. So when you look, uh, you go down here and you check it out. You see if he's, uh, and he actually does, you know, credit to him. Credit to him. Here he uh, he says how to levitate objects. Magic revealed by sc a scream freak. Uh, he he includes how to float things without strings. This is also done by um, a scream freak. Uh, sign coin through glass. That's a you know a classic of magic. I remember Daniel Garcia has a variation on that in one of his projects. Great great trick. This one is by a, sc a scream scream freak. Uh, magic can restore and refill. Tutorial by disturb. Reality. Oh, uh, okay. This is where he learned the tricks. These aren't the, that's not the, this isn't where he, um, credits. Oh, here it is. Here it says, uh, these are the tricks I got the original author from. I forgot to list them. It was my mistake. If I made a mistake, please correct them for me. Uh, well, here he has, uh, how to levitate objects by a scream freak. And then magic can and restore tutorial by Disturb Reality.
And uh, okay, so at the end of the day here, we have a guy, he's pretty, he's pretty charming, you know, pretty charming Asian fellow. He's funny, clearly from the, uh, his own little gags in the video. And then even, he doesn't even uh, reveal this trick. He says that he wants to um, wait till he has 100 likes and shares, which I'm sure since then he's gotten way more. Um, as a matter of fact, let's, uh, let's check how many... Let's check how many likes he has. Oh, okay. All right, 235,000. That's, that's normal. That's a good number. Uh, 235,000 people liking this video. I really thought it was going to be, um, I don't know, something like uh, maybe 100, you know, maybe 150 likes. But what can, expect, uh, what can you expect with a video with 21 million views on it? And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I am a little bit, uh, little bit of, uh, on the saltier side here. But you know what? Uh, this is YouTube magic for you guys. This is YouTube. This is YouTube magic for you guys. Uh, oh boy, so that's it. Um, I'm sorry to end on such a sour note here. Ah, <sighs> shit. I'm gonna go try to figure out different ways to unblur Asian porn. See you again when I see you again when I see you. Yeah.